What's going on YouTube, Giasno right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to save your SHSH blobs directly on your iPhone without needing a computer or any software on your computer and stuff like that. All you need to have on hand is your ACID, which for convenience I have saved here on my notes so that I can keep with me and save directly on the device. You should do this too, but if you don't know how to find it, you can find it in iTunes when you connect to a computer at one time. This video is brought to you by PDF Element Pro, a PDF file editor that you can take with you on the go. It's a very, very complex PDF editor that has a lot of features and allows you to manipulate files very very well. You can do all sorts of things like opening a document that already exists or you can even create various documents like you know blank PDFs, lined, grid, graph, music and stuff like that. Once you open a document you can do all sorts of things with it. You can highlight it like this for example and you can even select what color to highlight. You can even add text and you have a lot of customization available. For example like this you can edit any text you want and you get to choose the font, the colors and stuff like that. Everything is available in here with various font sizes and of course you can even set the alignment. You can also add images and you can also add stamps to your document. For example if you want to add a stamp you do it like this and you can add everything you want. So you can put it anywhere you want and you can resize it and that's basically it. So check it out in the link below. So yeah how do you save blobs directly on your device? Well you're going to use the TSS saver. As you probably know it's 14.3 that is the current version available and the other ones are completely unsigned at the moment. However, if you want to save the blobs for iOS 14.3, you can use the new TSS Saver version 2, which is available at tssaver.onecanon.com. So you can see that it's now been updated and you can use it directly on your phone. All you have to do is to know your ACID. So for my ACID, I have it already in here in the notes and I do recommend you that you create a note as well, because that's actually pretty easy and of course you will always have it with you. So you will be able to save save blobs on the go even if you don't have a computer. Now when you're using the ACID from iTunes, this one is hex, but if you're using it from any other software like iDevice Info, it's going to be decimal. So in this case we're going to use hex and I pasted it, but a very important thing is to select the proper iOS device. If for example you have an iPhone 10, but you're selecting here the iPhone XS Max, this is not going to work, the blob will not be valid. Speaking of the iPhone XS Max and 11 and 12 and stuff like that, this is not going to work for them. For them you need to be jailbroken in order to save the blobs. So if you want to save the blobs for 812 devices, you're going to have to specify here the app nodes. And the only way to get this is if you are jailbroken with a jailbreak that already exists, like Odyssey and stuff like that. So this is only for the A11 and lower. For the A12 devices, check out the tutorial in the link below. So if you don't have an A12 or A13 device, you're not going to check the specify app nodes, but you're going to have to select the proper device. So it is iPhone alright, but it's not iPhone 3GS. We're going to have to select the iPhone 7 Plus, but as you can see there are multiple devices available. iPhone 7 Plus for example has 9.4 but also has 9.2. Which one is the correct one? Well we're going to have to figure that out either from the box or of course from iTunes. If for example your device is GSM but you're saving the blobs for the global version, it's not going to work. So once you know what kind of device you have, in this case it's GSM 9.4, you're going to select it and you're going to use that to submit the blob for saving. So once you do that, it's going to show you the captcha, you're going to have to complete it. So it's going to be that one, it's going to be that one, that one in there, and I think that's basically it. And as you can see, it's loading. And after that, you can see we got a new link. It says in here, device added to queue, it shows your ACID in hex, your ACID in decimal, and you open link in there, it's going to show you what blobs you have saved. Now if you've been saving for a while, as it's my case, you can see that I started saving back on iOS 10.3.3, you can see that I have a ton of blobs, but the 14.3 are showing in here, and as you can see, we got the blob. And that's it, you can even download it if you want to, and you can have it on your phone. So yeah, that's how you save the blob. You can even check if they're valid by using this in here. There's a blob checker, which you can open, and it looks like this. You load the blob, you select what kind of blob it is, for what kind of device, and it's going to tell you if it's a valid blob that can be used for a downgrade. Now remember, you want to save those if you want to downgrade untethered. If you don't save them, you will never be able to downgrade untethered in the future. So an untethered downgrade is a downgrade 
downgrade that doesn't require you to plug in your phone to a computer every time you reboot it, like it's the case right now with CheckRain. So yeah, if you want to save the blobs, you can use the SS Saver. If you want to have access easier to it, you can press in here and add it to home screen like this, and you will be able to quickly access it from your screen. Definitely save your blobs for all the versions in the future, because you never know what version will be jailbroken next, and you don't want to be left behind. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated, and peace out.